The following is a sponsored segment from the Higgins Firm. Back to Tennessee Morning 744. Could drastic changes be on the way for workers' comp laws? More on what this means for injured workers and the state of Tennessee. Joining us this morning, attorney Jim Higgins from the Higgins Firm. Good to see you. Good to see you. This is something the governor addressed yesterday in the state of the state address mm -hmm. uh, as far as this goes. What did you get from this? Well, what I've got and what we've kind of, we had a, an advanced copy of the proposed bill that they're mm -hmm. probably going to follow, it may change a little bit, is there's going to be some just really drastic changes to the work comp bill. Uh, one will be, it will probably move from a court system where you go in front of a judge into a, a government system where you go in front of somebody who's been appointed by the governor or legislature to, to hear your claims, mm -hmm. um, which will be a pretty big change. Uh, the other thing that, that really, I think, impacts just our day-to-day -day workers is right now the system's set up to, to give you some financial help if you have an injury that's so serious that it impacts your ability to earn a living. Mm -hmm. And they're really cutting that down significantly in the name of being more business friendly. And I guess it is more business friendly. Sure. Uh, but, you, you know, and, and it's always hard because I do this work. I don't want to come out and sound self-serving. But, but truly, right now the comp system is not set up to where anybody gets rich. It, it's a safety net so you can pay your bills if you can't earn a living. And this new system that comes out, it, it really takes that safety net away. Mm -hmm. And I fear that it's going to leave a lot of people without, uh, uh, that, that are going to end up having to, to depend on the taxpayers and, mm -hmm. and government help, which is us, uh, to make up, to pay their bills, to support their family and things like that. And it used to be on a case-by-case -case basis, right? Mm -hmm. But no longer, now it's kind of a one-time thing? Yeah. Like you were telling me, if, if I get hurt and you get hurt and we have different injuries, but yet if it's a back injury, mm -hmm. we could get the same amount. That's what's really unfair about the system to me. Right now what happens is when we represent somebody, we go into court and we explain, hey, this is a back injury, and let me tell you what this person does. Mm -hmm. So a person who has a back injury like you and I have it, mm -hmm. we could still come out and make it a living. Mm -hmm. But somebody who's done nothing but construction work and laid brick all their really life. really affects their job. It really yeah. affects them. And so they should get more out of a system than I should. Well, under this new system, that really doesn't happen. Everybody just, uh, here's your injury, here's your small check, mm -hmm. you know, thanks, have a good day. And, and that really, I think, is unfortunate. I think there's a point where there's a balance between uh, being business friendly and protecting our citizens. Mm -hmm. And I think this new legislation goes so far for in, in support of business that it, that it leaves our workers in Tennessee uh, vulnerable and I think we are going to end up uh, taking care of a more of almost like a corporate welfare. And real quickly, will it affect workers' comp cases now? No, it's Nothing probably yet. not okay. going to go into effect until the new year, okay. but uh, it, it will be on after that. Okay, well if you have any questions for Jim or any of the other attorneys over there at the Higgins Firm, you can call right now at 353-0930 or you can contact Jim personally through his email, JSH at HigginsFirm.com. Good to see you. Good Appreciate to see you, Nate. Right. Thank you.